Well, hello, I'm Peter Crisofoli. We're here today in the home music studio of Linda and Peter, and I'm about to play for you a wonderful piece from Elizabethan England called The Leaves Be Green by William Inglet. But before I do that, <laughs> let me just say that um, the past uh, videos that we made here at home I had the assistance of Randy Rabato, who did just a terrific job doing the video part of it. Well, with the stay at home uh, that we're going through at the present time, it's no longer possible for me to have the uh, talents of Randy helping me with this. So I'm on my own here with my MacBook Pro experimenting with iMovie. So this isn't going to be quite as slick the production as you may have been used to from my previous ones. But we'll get through this one way or another. So back to the music. Um, I'm playing a piece today called The Leaves Be Green by a composer named William Inglet. Well, who's William Inglet, you may ask? Definitely not a familiar name like, say, Bach or Beethoven or Bernstein. William Inglet lived in the Elizabethan era and he was an accomplished musician, as you will hear from this delightful piece I'm about to play called The Leaves Be Green. I'm going to be playing it for you on the harpsichord today. No doubt you've probably heard about a harpsichord, but uh, maybe don't know that much about it. Well, it is a keyboard instrument. Um, actually, in the case of this harpsichord, there's two keyboards. There's an upper one and, and a lower one. They have similar sounds, but they're not identical. There's a contrast between them, and you can play off of those contrasts in the music, and you can also combine the sounds for yet uh, another uh, distinctive uh, quality. You'll hear all of that uh, as, as I play. Uh, the main difference, though, with the harpsichord, say, from the more familiar piano, is that the harpsichord strings are plucked. Whereas in the piano, you have hammers that strike the strings. So with the harpsichord, you get a very precise, uh, very clear, brilliant, really, sound that uh, suits this music that I'm about to play just beautifully. Now, uh, I discovered in experimenting that if I leave this setup where I have it right here, where you can nicely see the keyboards and could even see a bit of my hands playing, the sound is too distant. I discovered if I move my laptop over to the dining room table that I get a much better quality of sound. So which would you prefer? Seeing my hands or getting a better, fuller quality of sound? Well, I'm going to opt for the better, fuller quality of sound. And so if you'll um, just bear with me for a moment, I'm going to move the laptop uh, over into a better position for sound. Uh, and while I'm at it, I'll show you around a little bit. There's my house organ. Uh, you saw that and heard that in, in the first two video productions we did here from home, but just uh, right next to it here is the harpsichord. You can see the keyboards there a little bit. And then if I move over here, well, we can see inside a little bit. Uh, you can see the strings in there. And uh, let's see, over here, this is the jack rail here. Uh, the mechanism that, that plucks the strings um, is underneath that jack rail. I think it's so, oh, I hope you noticed that I do have some green leaves set out here on the harpsichord today. Um, hopefully that will help the inspiration here. Anyway, uh, let's play it now, and I hope you enjoy The Leaves Be Green by William Inglet.
Well, thank you for watching and listening, and I hope to see you next time when we make our next production here in the home music studio of Linda and Peter Crisofoli. God bless you.